My name's Johan, I'm the product manager for Merging Technologies, here today to show you our new uh, Ovation version 6 software, which now has an integrated three-dimensional panning engine. Um, so Ovation as a product uh, has always been steeped in uh, the AV sector of uh, the audio industries uh, as a playout server uh, and show control device for verticals ranging from museums, theme parks, uh, performance spaces, corporate, AV, uh, commercial and uh, shopping centers. Um, pretty much across the board when there's the need to create an immersive soundscape. Um, now with version 6 we're actually bringing uh, the idea of immersion much more into the spotlight uh, by integrating our 3D tool. So within the software we can now create um, multi-speaker arrays uh, where speaker positions are placed anywhere in XYZ space in a room that you determine the size of and we can then move multi-channel sources throughout the space either using rotation or XYZ controls. So this allows us incredible power when starting to not only create these sonic spaces but also then dynamically change them based on a visitor movement or a operator driven change to the environment. For example, within the software what we can do is we can open up a room editor. The room editor then allows us the ability to um, add speakers, change speaker positions to anywhere else in the room uh, which are immediately reflected within the panner. So if I open up the panner here, you can now see my top left speaker has been moved virtually in space. Um, we can build these rooms um, also in any size so that in the room editor, right now I've got a one and a half meter radius, but I could maybe build a five meter radius. And what that allows then is to also work to create effects where my sound can be outside of the outside and I can actually move it through the room, creating a sort of gain and pan effect where a sound can enter the room, move through it and move out, but simply by moving a sound source through the space. Also what's really important about this panner is that by incorporating space, uh, space size, what we're able to do is use a different algorithm that is one norm than what is normally used in a panner. Normally a panner has um, a percentage of the sound source in between speakers. So it's, if it's dead in the center, it's 50% left, 50% right. Well, by in incorporating the idea of size to the room, rather than have a percentage in each speaker, what it does is it actually calculates the movement of sound through free space and uses the algorithm of minus 6 dB per doubling of distance to determine how much energy arrives at each speaker. And what that does for the uh, position of sounds within a sonic space is it creates a much more natural sounding uh, environment because you're not pinpointing the sound to a speaker you're pinpointing it to an area in the room and the amount of speakers you have in that room then decode that sound to the location that it's in um, so for designed spaces you get a much more natural sounding immersive environment one incredibly interesting thing about the way we've designed this new panning engine is that we've actually separated the bus from the panner and what that means, the, the implication of that, is that the position of the sound source in three-dimensional space is independent from the number of speakers you're defining your room to be in. What this means is I can decide my sound is here and then I can be working in a space that has maybe 15 speakers. But I can move to a secondary space which has 46 speakers and that definition of where my sound source is doesn't change. I simply change the number of speaker outputs that that system is being defined by. So the separation there involves uh, a, a real power in being able to then not only design the spaces really easily, but change the space you're in incredibly easy. So for touring shows or uh, de-rig museum environments that move from room to room, this is an incredibly, uh, an incredibly powerful tool. So coupled with the ability to use multiple multi-track cues, control inputs, control outputs, and the whole host of other Ovation features that have always been, um, the combination now is really absolutely perfect for really any multi-channel environment. Um, so if you want to check out more, uh, please do so at www.merging.com, um, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.